gateway splitter that was plugged in. And so that's why that's black. Damn. Damn. Yep, it was like it was like three feet away from me and I'm glad I didn't die. That's good. I'm glad you're alive too, because you're a handsome man. Yep. You're a pretty boy. Oh. Oh well, thank you. I'm very flattered. Flattery yeah, we, only gets you so far we though. Actually video chat on Discord. Yeah, he chat. takes his pants off. He uh he lets me listen to him pee. It's very, very nice. <laughs> you know, I only, I only have him heard I'm not kidding. I turn off, not kidding. I turn off the camera, and uh, he just had the sound of me peeing in the toilet. I'm not kidding, Lucario. I mean, I'm, I'm legit. I'm legit. This happened today. Yeah. yeah. All uh, right. And, and I and I, I and I approve this message. Both for Lance. Yep. Witness. Witness. Oh, you want to know more about that Church of Lyles thing, don't you? Ashley knows a part what of is that. that. My cult. I forgot what it was. My oh yeah, I have actual, he's a cult. I have actual real followers, <laughs> and I do have their souls in contract and blood. Does that scare you, Fortis? Do you know what they no, get, what what they wanted for their to? to no, I don't. I know a guy. I know a guy that ran a cult. So it's not new to me. It's not real. It's not really a bad cult, you know. Uh, I am. Uh, his was his, his was a bad cult. Yeah. For for you know, uh, you know what, Michael, come over here, huddle around here, Michael. Michael, you peach, you Georgia peach, you fuzzy ass peach ass. He's dead. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Yeah, what, he's gone. I'll tell you about this cult. When, hey Lance. When hey comes. Lance. Yeah. Hey Lance. Yeah. You're a jerkosaurus. You got that from Ashley. Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You. You want to call her? Big butt. What? Call her big. Butt. He calls you big butt. Are you talking to her through Discord? You have a ginormous butt. Who, me? Yep. I know I do. I, I, I was gifted. So, I can see, he I, says he knows he does. He was gifted. I, I'm going to go to my wife. I'm going to that room right now. And I'm You're a Snorlax. <laughs> You're a Snorlax. <laughs> yeah, you hear, he's yep. there voice chatting on Discord right now. He's waiting on Ashley. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I can crack a walnut yep. between. You know how, how, how gifted my ass is? I can crack a walnut between my Ooh. ass cheeks. I am a walnut. That's very convenient. You want me to crack your face between my ass cheeks? Sure, <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Lucario, I need you. I need you as, as my walnut. Where did Lucario go? Um, Lucario, stay still. Save I gotta me. I got to crack your me. face no. like a walnut. No, please, not like this. <laughs> which state are you? Uh, which state brother. are you from, Lucario? I'm from Canada. Oh, she, oh, oh. Aww, Poutine, you're so cute. That means you're harmless. Sorry, eh? Sorry. <laughs> Canadians are harmless. Poutine, Poutine. <laughs> Putin, 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 Putin. Yes, 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 Putin. Yes. I, I saw. Oh shit, Ashley's coming. Hey, honey. <laughs> How may I help you? I love you. Don't hurt me. Canadian. Don't, ah, don't abuse me. Abuse. Record this. <laughs> Tell the police. Save me. What's wrong with your? Uh, You're your on your chat? own. Come to my <laughs> Be right back. Poutine? Poutine? I've always wanted poutine? to try poutine, but we don't have it here. Me, all you gotta do is just ch toss some gravy and some cheese and some fries and you could... Oh, we don't, we don't do that sort of thing. We don't have cheese curds. Any cheese works, really. We don't exactly mm. need cheese curds. It's not the same, it's not the same. It's not, yeah, I agree. It's not the same, but it gives you that feel on it. Mm. 
gooey. What are you doing? How's Canada? I like the weather, the, f the temperature. I mean, I like the temperature. It's not bad. I like. It. I kind of hate it some days, but yes. Uh, Lance is telling me to tell you something about cracking a walnut between his ass cheeks. I mean that ass. Yep. Uh, Lucario is within your ass cheeks right now. Yeah, 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 um... He's gonna squeeze a little truffle out of it at the same time. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> that's enough of that. Oh, if I... You're <laughs> welcome. <Please don't. laughs> Stop touching my titties. Oh, no, wait, that's Ashley. <laughs> Stop grabbing my boobs! Now that is a. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lance is saying he can't see, nice. so we can do it right now. Lance says I can jerk it to the motion of the sound. This man is a degenerate, I want you all to know this. I thought I was a degenerate, Jesus. Well, we're all degenerates in our own way. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's... Has, oh what's God. this little Lego? I think you can sit on it. I've seen people actually sit on oh. it. Oh, no, I can't. It's weird. Ashley, Ash, Ashley just said, why did you just drop your pants? Uh. <laughs> he was showing me his pee pee, apparently. There's no video. This is a, Lucario, I'm the middleman, this is a problem. This is my worst nightmare. <laughs> I can tell. Don't hurt the messenger. <laughs> yeah. I need to squeeze all the milk out of Ashley's boobies, Lance quote, and make butter and cheese. Oh my god. I feel sorry for you, Ashley. That's it, Lance. He's coming. He's coming back in. He's nuking me, apparently. Someone say nuke? Two were never enough. Hey, Lucario. <laughs> Favorite things <laughs> about Canada? Not Canada. Favorite things about Canada? My favorite things? Yeah. Uh, Poutine? Quebec? Poutine, that's gotta be... Fuck Quebec. No. Quebecois? Poutine. That's a sub. Uh, um... Smarties. Like the chocolate kind, not the... Smarties. American we have kind. those. Those shits are good. That kind of shit's like... You. Oh, ketchup chips. Ketchup chips, I don't even know that. Nobody knows Ashley aside knows from Canada. Chips. By Lay's. The only oh, Lay's no, flavor we have is original. Okay. Uh, no, we don't have barbecue, you're safe on that. Ashley. Yes, we do suck, Ashley. <laughs> yes, barbecue is the best, Ashley. Yeah, uh. It's not bad. Personally, I prefer original chips when I do eat them um, in general. But I do enjoy. Fuck, what are they called? Uh, Pringles. 
Pringles, Pringles and Pringles are good. Guilty pleasure. Very, very, yeah. You just want chips. And I'm lovely. a single Pringle. Salt. Yeah, the, you're the last Pringle in the can. To grab it out of there. And just all you see is tube and man looking down at you. Like, I just, I, I, I just. <laughs> I fill my mouth with Pringles and then deal with the cuts later. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, uh, that's um, one way to do it. Um, so, least favorite things about Canada? The winter. I fucking hate it. I love winter. How cold does it get? The worst, minus 40 Celsius. Uh, that's pretty cold. Yeah. Normally it's uh, like so. Cold today is like minus thirty. Or How do you Canadians make it through the day? Like on an average day, how do you Canadians make it through? I am back. Hey, Michael. Ready, ready for the horror story? Uh, so which? The exact same way as you. So which one you guys want to hear first? Naked. Oh. Or one of a real life horse, one of the one yeah. actual real life horse story. Yep, that's fair. <laughs> the cult. Do you, do you like how I how I call your people and your country? Me, yeah, all fair. As long as you cover up the end, it says anal. So. C no, no, no. I mean, Canada sounds like a mystical, magical land far away. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, can, can, I mean, Canada. Canada. Yeah, and then, unicorn. <laughs> Canadians sound like a fucking race of innovators, tinkerers. Uh, well, I'm, I'm doing the cult story. So, you gotta stop talking about okay. this. Okay. This was back, back in when I was in high school. And we I have 13 souls. Exactly. It, I never thought getting souls will actually motivate people to do what they want to do. You know, no, I was, I used to be a youth pastor. I actually study in demonology and witchcraft and also other mythos as well. And no, I'm not going to curse you and all that shit and all that crap. I'm not that type of person. I usually curse me with big PP. No, that, that, that's not a curse. And the only there's a spell for that, or a whatever. <laughs> so, um, so yes, I was a youth pastor. Is this this is all real? Ashley don't know about this unless she can hear it through your freaking phone. <laughs> But she'll find ah, out what, later. What, Lance? What? What about my phone? What? <laughs> and um, so this is back in high school. So uh, Church of Lyle started uh, when I did started creating a Dungeons and Dragons club in high school, and it's to, even till now it's fairly pretty much took over the school. Surprisingly, it took over the school still. It used to be a small computer room to a cafeteria to like several science buildings, English departments, whole bunch of shit. Okay. So I, t how I pick people were, uh, were, were very easy. Uh, they were basically uh, loners, uh, shut-ins, and people that have no social skills at all. So I technically grabbed them and dragged them into Dungeons and Dragons Club. So the outcast people then, is that what you're trying to say? Yes. I got the outcast, brought them D&D, &D, got them, because D&D helped with a lot of the mental and the physical aspect of life, like social anxiety, how to talk properly to one another, what's inappropriate, what's not inappropriate, because we're all, even I was an outcast too. I wasn't, you know, the popular kid. I was the the big kid that's a huge nerd that protects the that protects the outcast. So, you know, my first soul was actually it was in Los Angeles in summer. 
one of the kids that I know that I, I that I pastor in youth youth um, with the, during the youth uh, yeah shit during Sunday school where the youth had girl problem. The girl dumped him and everything. So I try to help him with the step, took him out, have him try to meet other girls his age. I like being in LA, there's a lot of Korean cafes and coffee cafes and stuff. So I tried to get him some, but his heart, but his heart was so, you know, like so like, you know, empty. So one way for me to cover his emptiness, I told him he must give a piece of himself to me. And if you do give your piece of yourself to me, I will fill that fill that hole. So I got a piece of uh, regular. I have the special Italian papers that are like several hundred years old because I thought it was cool to write, write it in a journal and stuff like that. And I got special ink from Italy. Uh, there's they, they they make they the same ink they make thousands of thousands of years it has mercury and lead in it and stuff like that and i put a little bit of holy water and stuff in, in it mixing with it as well so i wrote the contract his name for his soul that uh, will be filled and within a few months he'll have a girl that he can cherish for the rest of his life I'm not making this shit up. I, I'm really not. Well, did he get the girl? Well, I'm getting there. I wrote that down. And, and it said, if it does not work in any way, his soul will be returned in full. But I got a little, I have a little, like a thumb, thumb prick, a uh, little base on prick. This affected with, you know, rubbing alcohol and everything else. He pierced his thumb in, stamped the, stamped the paper with his thumb. Then used my fountain, uh, the felt feather fountain pen, to dip the uh, dip the, the the blood, and signed it. Then you know what I had to do, just to fill his freaking hole. I spent three hundred dollars, and uh, just to pay these girls to go out with him, show interest in him. Cause I know I go for the one the out like the girl that compatible like an out another outcast like him and stuff that also you know goes kind of, does not go to the same church and stuff like that. But then later and, I, and then to finish the ritual, we got all the stuff that his girlfriend ex ex girlfriend got him, put it on the paper, put it on the ground, burn it all up, have him walk over it. Then the last few weeks, you know, I, I just start paying girls to go out with him. You know, he know I, I pay these girls, but he did not, you know, I know one of them will stick. I get the one, the outcasts that cannot live without each. You want to get a girl that you, they, they, you know, there are people like they cannot live without another person. Like, you know, like obsessive, obsessive, you know, you know, if you, if you leave, I kill myself type of girl, stuff like that. And, uh, no. Yeah, though there were a lot of those in California. Um, so, um, so and so, you know, after a while, the two clicked and they went on, and now they're married and they have a successful relationship. Hey. The second soul was a bit tricky for this. Very, very tricky. This kid had leukemia. And I don't know how I pull. I, I don't know how I pulled this off. The second kid had leukemia. Same thing with the same paper, ink, contract, blood, sign, all that shit. And all I all I did is gave him a, a bottle of like diluted wine, and they told it will cure him. And then it, it, and then after like several months, he had the, he had the recession. He was cured from leukemia, and he's still leukemia free till this day. Is this scaring you, Michael? Even though it's a true story, it gets worse after this, Michael. Can you handle it? 
Hey, mister, how are you doing, man? Do you like the playlist I sent you? We're talking about the cult I used to have. Yeah, there's like so much like Persona 4 you got, man. Yeah, I got the regular and the new plus, and I did everything.